remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Two men have been kicked out of the Army National Guard after activists discovered their membership in a religious group with white supremacist ties. Brandon East told the Atlanta Journal-Constitution that the Alabama National Guard sent him a separation notice on December 14th. A spokeswoman for the Georgia National Guard also said Dalton Woodward is no longer a member. She declined to comment on the terms of Woodward's separation. Earlier in 2019, the Atlanta anti-fascist group published a report saying East and Woodward were leaders of the Norse pagan group Raven Blood Kindred. The group is part of the Asatru Folk Assembly, which researchers say endorses white supremacy. East was forced to resign as a jailer earlier. When the report was published, Woodward was on active duty in Afghanistan. Woodward's unit returned from deployment in June and an investigation into his connections with white supremacy concluded in October. Can anybody say surprise? Hell no! This is America. The only reason why they were forced to resign was because they got caught red-handed. That's it. The U.S. military is crawling with white supremacists. They're everywhere. In fact, all the way at the top of the ladder. That's why they got them in there. Leadership starts at the top. If you got white supremacists in your military, that is because your leaders are white supremacists. Bam, boom, easy. Done. Same thing with law enforcement. They're crawling everywhere. In fact, I'll take you further than that. White supremacists is pervasive in every institution in America. Name me one institution that's supposed to be a pillar of the community that is not crawling with white supremacists. You can't name one. I dare white supremacists to get on here and name one. You can't. Where the trolls at? Where you at, troll? Name one. You can't. Hell, they got it. They even got some of these black organizations crawling with white supremacists, and not all of them are white. Some of them are black. That's right. You didn't know? You can be a white supremacist and be black. Oh, yes, you can. Because all you have to believe is that white is supreme. And do their bidding. Man. Boy, we on our own out here. Boy, we got some fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting to do. This is why it's so bad out there. You got white supremacists in every branch of the judicial system, government, law enforcement. They're everywhere. They're all at the Grammys. They're on the board at the Grammys and the, the Oscars and the Emmys and the Tonys. You name it. They're everywhere. They're all at those big time multi-millionaire auction houses dressed up in their nice suits and dresses acting like they classy and they straight trashy acting all civilized just huh, proper you know you know especially a lot of those socialites straight trash it's nothing but a show no class at all they're everywhere, all throughout American society. You can't, they're all at the airports, every major airline, the big brands that you like to wear, 
It's not just Gucci. They're at the hospitals you visit where your loved ones are patients. They're in the schools where your children attend. They're in the city permits department. They're at your light company, your phone company. They're at the churches, synagogues, mosques. They're in the hotels. They're at the bars and restaurants that you patronize. They're at the grocery stores and the gas stations where you fill your tank. They're at the theme park where you take your family to have a good time. They are everywhere. Two down, about 50 million more to go. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?